beautiful day that you've given unto us. Lord, we are here to hear from you. We are here to receive, O oh Lord, and to be blessed by your word, dear Father. And God, this morning, as I shared a uh, devotion, O oh God, I pray that you may use me for your glory, dear Father. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. Welcome to this morning's devotion, and we have been focusing on the names of God, and today we are going to look at Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah who is eternal. Jehovah who is everlasting. God makes himself known to us uh, through his names and uh, we, we get to know him deeper and to have a special relationship with him when we get to know his names. Uh, turn with me in the book of Genesis uh, 21 verse 33. It says, Abraham planted a tamarisk tree in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord. So by, by Abraham calling as, on God as El Olam, Abraham was calling on the one who is always available, the one who is eternally available. We as Christians, we need to get to a place where we know that God is available to us eternally. He is everlasting. God, God does not have beginning, neither does he have an end. He's there, he's everlasting. He knows us from our beginning till end. So we need, let us be encouraged in the Lord that he knows our lives. He is everlasting. Let us be strengthened by, by knowing that God reigns forever and ever. Our God is everlasting. And like I said, he has no end and no beginning. He's infinite. His wisdom, his knowledge, his power, his understanding, we cannot fathom. We cannot even comprehend. The book of Hebrews 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Isn't that encouraging? Isn't that good to know that our God does not change? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he's everlasting. May God help us to trust in him in our big and small events of our lives. May we surrender our lives to him, our events, our plans to him, knowing that he knows each and every step, and he's going to walk with us, and he's going to guide us. Let us not hold on so much in that we have no space of allowing God to guide us. Because he already knows the end. Why don't I allow him to just guide me? And even whatever I have planned, if it's not in his plan, why don't I just allow God to reorder my steps? Because he already knows the end. Amen? So join with me as we trust in God, as we call on God, the everlasting God, Jehovah, who is El Olam. Our Lord and Savior, this morning we are so grateful. 
God, we thank you that you have encouraged us, Lord. We thank you that we know that you are with us each and every step, dear Lord. That you are everlasting, you are eternal, Lord. There is nothing that gets you by surprise, dear Father. God, you have promised to walk with us. You have pro promised to hold our hands, dear Father. And God, this morning we want to trust in you, dear Father, that you reign forever, Lord. May you reign in our lives, Lord. May you reign in our lives, dear Father. And God, I ask that, Lord, you may teach us to to rest in you. You may teach us, Lord, to allow you to guide us, dear Father. And God, forgive us for the times, Lord, when we have been so rigid, rigid, dear Father, in our lives and in our plans, and we have not allowed you, dear Lord, to take your place, dear Father. God, we surrender this morning. We surrender everything to you, dear Lord. God, we know there are people who are trusting you, Lord. They are trusting you, dear Father, for many things, dear Lord. And God, they are wondering, dear Father, when will you come through for us, dear Lord. But God, because you are everlasting, you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You do not change, Lord. You're going to come through for them, dear Father. Whatever someone is trusting you for, God, may you encourage them, dear Father. May they know that in at the right time, Lord, you will come through for them, dear Father. God, we ask that, Lord, you may reign in our lives, dear Father. May you strengthen us, dear Lord. May you hold us and guide us, dear Father. God, we commit our plans to you, dear Lord. And God, where, where plans, the plans that we have made and they are not according to your will, dear Lord. Father, we ask that, Lord, you may help us, dear Lord, to to, may you may you guide us, dear Father. May you direct us, dear Lord. May you take control, dear Father. Take over, dear Lord. We surrender to you, dear Lord. Father, we refuse the plans of the enemies, the, the enemy who comes to 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 uh, to make us uh, be disturbed, to to make us have control, Lord, and and the enemy who is always uh, speaking words of discomfort upon us, dear Father. We refuse the spirit in the name of Jesus, Lord. And God, we, we look up to you who is everlasting. We look up to you who, do, who does not change, dear Lord. And we, we hold on to you, dear Father. May you encourage us, dear Lord. Father, for those times, dear Father, when we have gone astray, Lord, may you forgive us, Lord. May you help us to come back to you and to hold on to you, dear Father. We thank you, dear Lord. And God, as you have you as you were with Abraham, dear Lord, you are going to be with us, dear Father, in this day and age, dear Lord. You are we are going to see the miracles that happened, dear Father. We are going to see your works, dear Lord. We are going to see your leadership, dear Father, in this day and age, dear Lord. Oh God, we look up to you. We trust in you, dear Father, because you are everlasting, dear Lord. We thank you and we honor you. God, we know your love is everlasting, dear Father. Your love does not fail, dear Lord. Your love is unconditional, dear Father. So may you remind us, Lord. May you remind us, dear Father, of your first love, dear Lord. May you remind us, Lord, that you, you do not condemn us, dear Father, but you love us, dear Lord. And you're always there for us, dear Father. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. And God, we, we commit each and every plan of this day into the hands, dear Father. May you go before us, Lord. May your presence be with us, dear Lord. May you guide us and teach us your way, dear Father. We thank you and we honor you. And God, for, for those of us, Lord, who do not know you as their personal Savior, dear Father. Father, I, I pray for them, dear Lord. I pray that, Lord, you may speak to them, dear Father. I pray that, Lord, their lives will be turned, dear Father. I pray that they will accept you, dear Father, as their Savior, dear Lord. And God, we know that heaven celebrates when one soul comes to you, dear Father. I pray that, God, we shall cultivate a personal relationship with you. And for those, Lord, who have backslidden, dear Lord, may you remind them of, the, of your love. May you remind them, Lord, of the blood that was shed at Calvary so that we can be saved, dear Father, so that we can walk in freedom, dear Lord. We bless you and we honor you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace and for your mercies. Oh, God, we honor you and we bless you, dear Father. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you for being with us. Please remember that our God is everlasting. Allow him to walk with you. Allow him to encourage you. Allow him to guide you. And just know he will, not, he will never fail you. 
In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Shuka baba, shuka na uwezo wako.